Hello everyone, welcome back to computer class. Today I am going to continue the lesson number 3 from your textbook that is advanced features of word processor. First is content, first one header and footer. Second, inserting columns. Third, page break and line break. Next is working with tabs. First is about header and footer. In MS Word, the text or graphics printed at the top and the bottom of every page in a document is known as header and footer. Means, in your MS Word, in every page, you want to see something text or graphic in upside. Same text for the all the page. Okay. Upside means in the top of every page, you want to see some text or graphic is known as what? Header. Okay. So, or else if you want to see the text or document in a down of the page, in the bottom of the page, in every page, you want to see same text. Means that is known as a footer. Okay. It will provide the important information about the document. Means you can give a page number, date, chapter title or the author name, whatever, whatever subject name or the date or the logo, whatever. You can give in a header and the also using a footer. How to give this header first? You need to follow some of the steps to insert header to your MS Word document. Step 1. Open the document. Open the document in the sense what? To which document, to which page or to which uh, uh, document, data, to which document you are going to give the header. You need to open that first. Step 2. Click insert tab. Okay. You need to click the insert tab. Next of the home tab only you will get the insert tab. You can see this image. Right. In this next to home tab only you will get the insert tab. You need to click this insert tab. Step 3. Click header option. After you will click on you will click on insert tab. Right. Afterwards you will get so many information in that header option will be there. You need to click the header option. See this header, footer, page number. We are going to discuss about header, right? So, you need to click on the header option. In that, you need to click an appropriate option. Now, the selected header area is indicated with a dotted line. Means, after you will click on a header, one drop down list will come. In that drop down list, so many header options will be there. Means, so many kinds of header options will be there. First one, you can see only one side you can type a text. Second one, three side you can type a text, text, right? Third one, with a red color line will be there. Middle you can type a text. You can select any one option from this header, okay? After selecting that, the header area, means header area, where the header area will be? In the upside of the sheet, right? In the upside of the sheet, it will indicate it with the dotted line will come, okay? See, this is the dotted line for the header. You have selected one kind of header. So, this is that header. Now, what you need to do? Step 5. Now, enter the text. Say, chapter name. Whatever you, you want, you can enter here. Okay. After entering the document, after writing the header text, double click outside the header box. This heading will appear on top of every page of the document. After typing a some document or information you will type in this box, right? After typing that, double click outside the header. Okay. Next, how it will appear? It will appear like this. See, in this header option, header, header text, I have typed word processor. See, this is our document. You can see the header. Same header will be copied to every page of your document. If your uh, document is having 10 pages, means all the pages will be having the same header. Okay. This is about header. Next is about footer. Footer, what is the meaning of footer here? Whatever the text or the graphics, whatever information you want to type at the bottom of the every page is known as a footer. Same, uh, same steps will be followed. Only, only one step we need to change here. Okay, compared to header and footer. Step one, same. Click insert tab. Before going to the, before going to click the insert tab, we need to open the document, right? After opening the document, click insert tab. The insert tab will be present after that home tab, right? 
step 2 click the footer option next to the header option you will get footer option click the footer option same as it is one drop down list will come in that drop down list select any one type of footer from that drop down list ok you need to select one type of footer from that step 4 type the text in a footer area after selecting the one type of footer the down of the uh, the current page will be come with a dotted line ok now you need to type the text in that footer area which type of text you want afterwards then double click outside the footer area the selected footer style will appear to the bottom part of every page how it will appear it will appear like this see i have selected one type of footer in that right side and left side you can give the text right side i have given page number okay uh, according to the pages the number will be changed one two three like that page one page two like that okay here right uh, left side i have given the text Okay, you can give any kind of text. Here I have given the text as computer. This is about header and the footer. You are going to give the text or graphic to the top of the sheet is known as a header. Or else if you want to give the text to the bottom of the sheet is known as a footer. Next is about page break and line break. Here first what is the meaning of page break? It is a feature that indicates the end of the current page and beginning of the next page. Means in a one page you are going to end the in the one page you are making the two part and you are making the second half part to the second page. Okay. Means the indication of a page break is done by keeping the position of the cursor in a document. Okay, where you want to bake the page. In a one page, I have typed so many things. Okay, last paragraph, I want to see in a second page. What I will do usually? Beginning of the last paragraph, I will keep the cursor. Usually what we will do. Okay, normal step. We will keep the cursor beginning of that paragraph and I will press enter so many times. What it will happen? The last paragraph or after the cursor, whatever document, whatever text, whatever information is there, every information will come to the next page that we will do to follow the page break right some of the steps we need to follow other than these steps you can follow some of the steps to break the page okay to make the second page or to make the third page what is that step step one place the cursor place the cursor in the sense where you will place the cursor next to that cursor whatever document is there every content will come to the next page remember that we need to place the cursor where you need to end the page okay first page or second page after to that cursor whatever document whatever text is there every text will come to the next line okay step two click the page layout and click break option page layout you need to click in that you need to click the break option step three select the page option how you can see this window step one you need to keep the cursor first remember that then you need to click the page layout option afterwards you need to click break option ok in that break option you will get one drop down list in that so many options will be there now we are going to this we are discussing about page break right so we need to click the page break ok after the cursor whatever text is there every text will come to the next line next page of the document this is about page break next is about line break one more name of line break is section break ok generally we will press enter key to go to the next line right we will press enter key usually enter key in the sense what it will go to the next line means in a one line i have typed so many things i need to break the line half of the line i want to say in a next line usually what i will do what we will do we will keep the cursor in the middle of the line directly i will press enter after the cursor next to the cursor whatever line whatever text is there every text will come to the next line usual step right that is about line break right we will press enter key to do perform the line break option instead of that we can follow some other steps okay what is that step set the cursor position cursor position we need to keep after the cursor position whatever text will be there every text will come to the next line remember that okay based on that we need to keep the cursor position step 2 click page layout option in that select break option step 3 select continuous Okay, you can see this window. First step, we need to keep the cursor position first. Remember that. Next, 
click the page layout option in that you need to click the break option in that break option you are performing the line break means section break right so you need to click the option continuous then after the cursor whatever text is there every text will come in the next line that is about section break or line break next is about working with tabs tabs means what you can see the tab key in your keyboard right while working in a computer you can see the tab key you know do you know what is the use of the tab key here when you press the tab key once the cursor move and set to 0.5 inches by default okay when you will press the tab key right it will usually the tab key will move from one place to other means the uh, it will give little space right what is the space length here 0.5 inches it will move it is very useful while creating any decent document okay it will align in a proper way how it will align see here i have typed this the, this content using the tab key only after typing the name i have pressed the tab key it to it will move 1.5 inches far from that name option name content okay see here afterwards i have typed the dotted line it will look very decent right using that tab key if you created any document means it will be it will look like it is aligned like that okay usually the point uh, point 0.5 inches the tab key will move by default okay if you want to move extra the uh, 1.5 means you need to press three times if you if you typed or if you press the tab key three times means it will move uh, 1.5 inch okay this is about the tab key thank you everyone have a nice day